What have you done to make yourself more confident? You're not leaving the house, you're playing video games, you're watching porn, you're eating crap, you're not challenging yourself, you're not learning new things, and you're asking yourself, why am I not confident? Alex Homozi says, being consistent every day doesn't guarantee you success, but not turning up every day will definitely guarantee failure. We've all been there, we've suffered rejection, failure, losses, we've not wanted to do the things that we've done. But if we didn't do that, we wouldn't be able to achieve everything that we want. I changed my life from being that shy kid in school to building that confidence so I could pretty much do anything that I want. But I know you can too. So let's jump into some ways how you can build your confidence. There are two main aspects to being confident. Your inner beliefs, what you think of yourself, what you believe, your thoughts, and the outer part, what people see. Yes, the way you look is very important. Anyone who says it doesn't matter how you look, they are lying to you. Your physical appearance is very important. Now you may think you're not the most handsome guy, but it's very easy to fix the outer part. Let's start with the outer shell. When I go to the gym, some of you guys look and smell like shit guys. I don't know why it is, but when you go into the gym, you make no effort at all. This is the worst decision you can ever make. The gym is a great place to make new friends and potentially meet a partner. But if you look like shit, this is the best way of not meeting anyone and staying lonely. Invest in some decent clothes. It doesn't cost that much. It will change how people look at you. But you need to take five minutes to have a shower in the morning. Smelling bad is the best way to not want to get anyone to talk to you. I get it a little bit that you're thinking you're gonna sweat in the gym, there's no point having a shower, you're gonna do it when you get home. But after sleeping all night and sweating in your bed, you don't smell great in the morning. You may not think you smell too bad, but trust me, you actually smell worse than you think. So just take five minutes, have a quick shower in the morning, and you'll start to notice people start paying a little bit more attention to you. In the morning, I think what I'm gonna wear to the gym. I don't just pick whatever I wanna wear and match my colors. Yeah, I pay attention to the small details because they pay off. So the first thing I want you to do is start paying attention to the way you look, the way you smell, and you will notice people naturally gravitate towards you. Now, when you have showers first thing in the morning, there's only one way to have showers, and that's cold showers but I absolutely hate cold showers. I know there's greatness behind it, there's so many theories and this, that, the other, but I absolutely hate them. But that's the reason why I do them. When's the last time you did something you didn't wanna do? When was the last time you made yourself uncomfortable? I don't have to do cold showers, but I choose to put myself in an uncomfortable situation. So first thing in the morning, I feel like I've already conquered life. When you're in that cold shower, those water droplets feel like little grenades on your back. It's an uncomfortable and sometimes painful near death experience. But once I've done it, I feel so refreshed. I feel like I've conquered the world already. Even on those days where I have no motivation, I can't be bothered, those cold showers reset my brain for a new day. So the next time you're gonna get a shower, make sure it's a cold one. But even after that cold shower, our brains reset, we're ready to go. As soon as we get into the real world, we start thinking, what are people gonna think about us? You're probably thinking, I don't wanna go to the gym. People are gonna think I'm weak, I'm pathetic. I can't lift anything. No one cares. Everyone in the gym has been in your position. They started off with the bar and worked their way up. No one cares how much you can lift in the gym. Okay, they might not want to talk to you if you look like a scruff bag, but if you're paying attention to the way you look, the way you smell, and you're trying, you will meet other people on that same journey. The gym is one of the best places to go, and the days that you don't want to go is the days you have your best session. It's crazy when you think about it, that going to the gym, lifting weights, moving your arms up and down, can give you such a great feeling. But when you leave that gym, you will feel like you've conquered the world. As your strength builds over the months, you'll see your body change, you'll see your physique change. You will get so many dopamine hits to the brain thinking, wow, why did I not start earlier? It's probably one of my biggest regrets out there, not going to the gym consistently over the years. Not only train hard, but visualize your future self, your physique, the car you want, the money you want, the girl that you want. Visualizing alone 
alone doesn't work. You've got to know the steps to get there. So every morning I want you to wake up and say, I'm going to hit the gym Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday to get this physique, this six pack within the next three months. I'm going to do these tasks and learn this so I can earn this much amount of money and buy this car. Visualize that every morning. Make your dreams a reality. Learning new things and improving your knowledge will help turn your dreams into a reality a lot quicker. That's why you have to be learning every day. I wish I knew the power of books. One book is like 20 years of experience condensed into four hours. You read one book a week, that's four books a month. You're roughly getting about 80 years of experience condensed into 16 hours. Books will not only improve your knowledge, they'll show you how to become successful, they'll help you make better decisions, they'll make you a better person. The more you know, the more you'll be able to deal with. As a man, I'd recommend reading two books, The Way of the Superior Man and 48 Laws of Power. These books will tell you how to sit, how to behave, how to act and how to improve your life. I didn't realise how important this one is. If you surround yourself with people who are always complaining about life, always depressed, always sad, but not taking any action you will always stay in that rut but if you surround yourself with positive people who are pushing for greater things who are trying to improve themselves naturally you will want to improve yourself if i knew this earlier i would have surrounded myself with a wider range of people from all types of background avoiding the people who don't want to progress but the people who want to succeed who do business this is very important. If you surround yourself with successful people, you will become successful. So if your friends are not achieving anything and always complaining about the bad things in life, but not taking any action, it's time to change your type of friends. Sooner you do it, the sooner you will see your life to change. Now these new friends might criticize you. Criticism can be great for you to improve on yourself and reflect on yourself. Now if one person constantly is giving you grief about something which doesn't even make sense, ignore them. But if a few people are saying, oh I think you should go gym a little bit more. I think you should get your hair cut. If you've noticed a few people say the same things, maybe it's time to hit the gym a little bit harder and maybe change up your routine. Don't take anything as a negative criticism. Whatever people say, listen to it, take it on board, take value from it and act on it if you need to. Don't feel like you have to do everything at once. Take small steps. Don't start hitting the gym six times a week. Don't get a credit card and change up your wardrobe. Buy a few t-shirts, buy one tracksuit, go to the gym three times a week. You might not like having cold showers every day. Maybe you do them on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Take small steps and that will lead to one massive change. Now, if you want to know my absolute favorite way to improving your confidence, improving your life and learning a skill that will help you no matter where you are, you might want to check this video out.